In this video, we're going to talk about, in a rational function, how do you find points of discontinuity and vertical asymptotes? Both of these concepts will come out of domain restrictions for this function. So because we have variables in the denominator, we have to worry about division by zero. So what we want to do is figure out what would make the denominator equal zero. So to do that here, since it's quadratic, let's factor this denominator. So what are two factors of negative eight that add to negative four, or excuse me, negative two, or negative four? and positive 2. So if I set each one of these equal to 0 and solve, I'll find that x can equal 4 and that x can equal negative 2. So those would be domain restrictions. Now that's going to lead to points of discontinuity and vertical asymptotes. But which one is going to be which? First understand you could have more than one of either one of these uh, graphical features. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to see does this fraction actually simplify. So I'm going to need to factor the numerator. Two factors of six that add to five are x plus two and x plus three and see if anything simplifies. And you can see that x plus two simplifies. So the domain restriction that came from negative two is going to become a hole in our graph, a point of discontinuity. Now that's the x coordinate of our hole. So for our hole, the x coordinate's negative two. To find the y coordinate, I'm going to take the negative two and substitute it into what's left. So I'm going to do negative two plus three over negative two minus four, which is going to give me positive one over negative six, which is negative one six. So there's a hole at negative two, negative one six. Now you can see that x minus four is still in the denominator, so substituting in four is still an issue for us. So any domain restrictions that still exist will then become a vertical asymptote. So there's a vertical asymptote on this graph at x equals 4. And remember, you could end up with more than one hole if more than one factor cancels, or you could end up with more than one vertical asymptote if there are domain more than one domain restriction exists after you simplify.